Hi there, I thought I'd make a very quick tutorial about how to make this sprite that we're going to use in the next scripted tutorial. This is not a scripted tutorial, so bear with me. The program I'm using to make this is Inkscape. Uh, you can download it freely, I'll put the link in the description below. And once you've got it up and running, all we're going to do is just we're going to make a, a few circles to make this nice little cartoony smoky effect. So go over to the left to go to the circle tool. And what you want to do is start clicking and dragging. You'll notice that you can make any sort of oval shape that you like. If you want a regular circle, you can press control while you click and drag and it sort of snaps to a nice regular circle there. So I'm going to I'm going to have it about this size. It's fine. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, perfect. So what we've got here is this shaded area here. We want this light area at the top. Whoopsies. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the circle and we're going to press control D to duplicate it. So we've got this circle on top of it that we're going to use as this light area. Uh, first, I'm going to change the uh, color down here to something lighter so you can see what's going on. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit by pressing control and using the mouse wheel to zoom in. Lovely. So we want to convert this object into a path so we've got more control over its shape. To do that, we're going to go up to the path, object to path. And if I press F2, you can see that we've got some nodes that we can manipulate and change to make some funky shapes. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to take the top right two nodes. We're going to add another node in between them by clicking this button to the top left. Then we're going to do the same for the bottom left ones. So we've got these new ones here. Then I'm going to delete the bottom right two nodes because we've done we've, we've used them now. It's fine. Great. So you'll notice that the shape already is distorted a little bit. So we're already part way there to get this half moon shape. What you can do, you can click and drag the edge of the shape and you can just sort of ooh, just like push it towards however you want. Maybe if you want something like that, nice little half moon shape, we can do that. That's fine. I'm going to press F1 just to go into the movement mode. Um, and then I'm going to click and drag both of these shapes and press Control G to put them in a group. Now that we've got this group, uh, I'm going to duplicate them. So I'm going to press Control D and then move it along a little bit. And then again, move it along a little bit. And again, maybe have, we'll have two more up here. Sort of emulate what I did before. I think that looks quite nice. I'm going to take the top one and then press Shift and hold, then click. And then I'm going to put these to the bottom of the pile by clicking this icon at the top. Lovely. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to put that one to the bottom of the pile. Um, we're just going to shift these around a little bit. You can fiddle around with these if you want to get something like that. Oops, oopsies. Um, there we go. And uh, yeah, something like that is fine. Something like this is fine. If you want to export it, click and drag all of the shapes for, for the sake of this just looks too messy. I'm going to put them in a group again by pressing Control G. And if you press Control Shift E, you bring up the export tab, which will appear on the right. Make sure selection is clicked and selected uh, because this will just export what's in this box here. And you can specify a width. Now, because these are vectors, you can go as big or as small as you want. Uh, I think my sprite was around 64 pixels and 48 height, that's fine. Uh, choose your path and then you click export and that's it and you can use this in the tutorial which is coming out in the next few days I had some issues with the video so I'm re-recording re-editing it uh, and hopefully that'll be out soon so thanks very much for watching if you've got any comments leave them in the description below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can feel free to like the video or dislike the video and I'll see you next time cheers